Hello everyone, Enrique here from The Machine Must Work. Today we're launching Thumbs Up for After Effects, Premiere Pro and Photoshop. With Thumbs Up, you can easily create thumbnails in a single click from custom presets and with added overlays that you can choose. We're going to start with a quick demo and then I'm going to run you through all the options. So I'm here in Premiere Pro. I select a frame that I want to use for my thumbnails. I already selected my preset and I'm just going to hit Create Thumbs here. You can see that Photoshop is already working, doing its thing. If I now go to the project folder, once it's finished, I get a notification here. I can click on it to open the folder. And here is the thumbnail that it created. I ran a square preset, so it's a square thumbnail. And I have two overlays that I had chosen before. So let's see how that happens. If we go back to Premiere, let's zoom in the extension here. At the top, we have our presets box here. Here you can choose which presets you're gonna run with. In this case, I had only a Facebook preset selected, but I can go in and I can select YouTube, Instagram and client. Later, we're gonna run all four of them so you can see the magic happening. After that, we can select the output folder. That can either be the project folder if you are running from After Effects or Premiere Pro. If you're running from Photoshop, you don't have this option, or you can select a folder. In this case, let's go with Project Folder. You can then select which file types the thumbnail is going to be saved to. Let's choose all of them. We are going to then have a PSD, a JPEG, and a PNG for each one of the presets. Once I did that, selected the preset, the output folder, and the file types that I want, I can just go ahead and hit Create Thumbs. If we zoom out, Photoshop is doing its thing. We're going to speed up this part because that's a lot of thumbnails that it's going to create now. Once it finishes, I get a notification with all the thumbnails that were created. And if I click on it, as you can see here, we now have these 12 thumbnails that it created. So three for each preset because I wanted a JPEG, a PNG, and a PSD for each one of them. If you go in, we can see that each preset has the dimensions that I chose and also different overlays depending on what you save it with that preset. So this one had only one overlay, the other one had two, this one had another two, this one had four. So it's up to you how you want to add your overlays, how many, where and everything. So if we go back to Premiere, now we're going to take a look on how we can create presets and import overlays. So in the Manage tab here, the first thing you can do is create presets. Here it's super simple. You give your preset a name. So say my client. Z is our client here. We want to save that thumbnail with the document, the composition, or the sequence name. That would be the first variable that it's going to use. Then we want to add an underscore. And then if I double click here, I can open the drop down and then I want to use the full date. So it's going to always use the sequence name or the document or the composition and then an underscore and then the full date. The dimensions, I'm going to leave this 1920 by 1080. If I want to add overlays, I can now then select which overlays are saved with that preset. Let's go just with heart. One thing to know here is that the overlay should always be the same dimension as the preset that you're creating. This just avoids that the overlay is misplaced. So if you create the overlay the exact same size as you're creating your presets, you won't have any trouble. It's always going to be in the same spot. Once I selected which overlay I want, I can just hit Save Preset. And you can see that we're back in the Create tab and we get our preset here. To select or deselect a preset, you simply click on it. If you want to remove a preset, Hold Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and click on it, and then it's removed. So let's go back to Manage. The next options you have here are for your overlays. Here you have the option to click on Open Overlays folder, and this is going to launch the folder where the extension is saving all the overlays. So if we click on it, we can see that this is the folder where the extension is keeping all the imported overlays. Here you can select them to delete, you can import files directly to this folder. The only thing that you have to do is restart the extension if you do any changes to this folder so it sees those changes. If we go back to Premiere, let's zoom in again. 
the next option you have here is to import an overlay. If you click import overlay, you're gonna get a select file dialog and here you can select new overlays to import from. In this case, I'm not gonna do it, so I'm just closing it. If you import it, it's gonna be listed here. If you want to remove an overlay from here, it's the same as deleting it from the folder that I just showed you. You click the minus button and it's deleted. After that, we have the preferences tab. So if I go back up, preferences, there is one important preference here that you should know about. Keep Photoshop document open. What it means is that if this is off, it's going to create all the thumbnails and close the Photoshop document by default. If not, if you leave it on, it's going to actually create all the thumbnails and leave those documents open for you later. Usually I would leave it off unless you want to keep it open to do other edits after you created it. Let's take a quick look now on how it runs from After Effects. So if we zoom out here, let's go into After Effects. We have the extension, same things going on, nothing different from Premiere Pro. We can go into Preferences just to show how this one works. Keep Photoshop document open, let's turn it on. Let's go into Create. Let's zoom out. Once you have selected the frame you want, you can then go ahead and hit Create Thumbs. Photoshop is going to do its magic here. And you're going to see at this time that after it's finishing creating it, it's actually going to leave that document open. So there we go, it finished. Document is still open. You get the notification that the thumbnail was created. You can go in here and open the JPEG and it's saved for us. If we go back into Photoshop, let's close this for now. Let me show you how it runs from Photoshop now. So if I open a Photoshop document, here we have it. Let's say I want to save it for Facebook. I selected the folder. As you can see, you don't have the project folder option on this one. So you only have that project folder option in Premiere Pro and After Effects. In this case, I'll just select a folder that I want to. I want to save it as a PNG. Facebook preset, create thumbs. And there we have it. It's saved, it closed because I had the preference to close it after creation. If I click here, I then go to the folder and I have the new thumb that we just created here from the PSD. There we go. Let's go back to Premiere. So there you have it. This is Thumbs Up, an extension that we think is a good time saver for all of us. Once you select your presets, your overlays, you're ready to go. In a single click, you're getting plenty of thumbnails out. So we hope you enjoy it. If you want to try it out, go to ascripts.com. Thanks for watching.